it's our daily video. It's late because we're hungover and we were out till about what well, half three, four o'clock in the morning. Something like that. It was. It was a late one. I've just had to have a couple of pints at lunch now just to sort of yeah. Gone and gone for a cure. Yeah. Be um, I haven't really yet. Um, <laughs> or slept. Um, <laughs> but it was boss, wasn't it? Um, you know what a night. Another great Sandfield night and. Um, I put a little post on, on Facebook after the game um, and I just said I'm, I'm absolutely knackered after that and I just heard you talking about Tim, it, it was a day where I felt yeah. everyone put everything into yeah. it didn't they? And, yeah. you know, it, it was very it different. made a difference. It was very different from Dortmund, Dortmund felt like you know, you're coming out with the euphoria and you're feeling brilliant about it and it's a last minute goal and you just want to go out for the whole weekend yeah. and buzzing whereas with Villarreal with, with we knew we knew they were probably just about favourites to go through and, and you worry about because you worry about you beat Man United, beat your Dortmund and it'd be such an anti-climax to go out in the semi-final so there's a bit more fear there than there was against Dortmund and a bit more kind of oh, relies on us and the pressure's on you to create an atmosphere like you did at Dortmund and so you know we were down there early we got some great videos if you've not seen on, on, on the Facebook and the Twitter check out the videos we got from the from Instagram the coach well. welcome and yeah absolutely brilliant um, stuff we, we stuck Andy on a, on a wall <laughs> yeah it and, um, literally gave him a leg up on the floor <laughs> and he got, he got a really yeah. good viewpoint. So, but, but it was like that and then like a couple of beers and then you're in and you're trying to create the atmosphere and there was the, the kind of hills and stuff before the game and then, and then the game itself and although Liverpool looking back were always in control there was you're still nervy like there's yeah. one goal for them it's just so big so at the end like I, I felt like I'd played I did feel yeah, like I'd played. I was like that it's just you know it was did, did put us through the middle. I mean, it's a comfortable scoreline, but like Gibbo says, I mean, I was, I was a bag of nerves. Um, so I'm glad we're through. And that, and obviously, uh, attention's now obviously turned to Switzerland and the final. Yeah, um, less than two weeks. Yeah, less than two weeks. Only 10,000 and odd uh, tickets. So everyone's going mad scrambling round. Uh, I've had an email off the club that says, I'm, because I'm a season ticket holder, I'm entered into a ballot. Um, sound. Um, Everyone's talking about how they're getting there. There's all the people in this office being talking about chartering a flight, <laughs> which is a bit mad. Uh, big, big plane with the Anfield app on the side. What do you reckon? Um, Trying to figure out how far it is to drive and all that. You know, it's. I mean, there must there must be a way. There must be a way. I, I mean, Mick Clark's box me as he always does. So, um, so I'm, I'm, via France, you know. Yeah, via right? going via Paris back via Nice. So, um, yeah. But I mean, it's it's a funny one with the tickets, isn't it? Because we, it always feels like there's a fuss just before the final and I kind of feel like well if clubs actually want to do something about it they've got to get together at the start of a season ideally and go either you need to play them in bigger stadiums or you need to give fans more tickets and the, the big kickoffs two weeks before you know your way for aren't going to ch- change it now they're not going to go no, oh no. yeah we'll, we'll get them tickets back off them delegates you know what yeah. I mean and it's so it just it feels to me like you know it is it, it does it does feel wrong that there can't be more Liverpool fans there but at the same time you kind of feel that, you know, if, 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 if football clubs, especially in England, want to do something about it, they're powerful enough to lobby and, and try and, you know, make sure there's changes. But then you've also got to remember, Gareth, that there's talk that Seville don't reckon they're going to sell out. Yeah, and so they're, they're saying they're going to send tickets back. So obviously there might be tickets for Liverpool fans there. But, but it's also a reminder that just because just cause we're mad and we want to go everywhere, it doesn't mean it's the same around Europe. Yeah. And, and we did a, recorded a really good Friday show this morning um, with Rob Gutman that's going to be out uh, fairly soon. And he was saying that he's looked into the last couple of UEFA finals and he didn't think they'd sold out. You know, it was about 35,000 people there. And so, you know, I guess what you'd say is that they can't budget for for Liverpool getting there on an English team you know because of this English teams getting there really when across Europe they don't really travel yeah I, I, I guess the flip side to it is that you know the UEFA want the Europa League to be taken seriously yeah. and Liverpool have done a, a huge amount for it this season in, in putting it on, on the map that competition you know we played Man United we played Dortmund everyone everywhere has talked about those games how big they were how great they were and then it, it just seems such a shame that, you know, Anfield's being out there again as being a great place to watch a game of football. And then the fans that created that atmosphere can't go to the final. It, you know, it seems a bit sad. And UEFA have been doing some kind of uh, Q&A today on their website uh, based around some of the criticism that they're getting today about, about the uh, allocations. Uh, one, one answer in particular, they say, uh, evidence from the recent finals, which, which is what John's talking about here, suggests that stadium capacity and ticket allocation for supporters of the two finalists have been very satisfactory. 
For those questioning the size of the stadium for this particular final, we would like to note that the number of supporters requesting final tickets varies from club to club, and of course it's impossible to predict in advance which clubs will reach the final. And it, I mean, it's Basically all, what they're saying is if it was Villarreal v Seville, then it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, it would have been alright. I mean, it, it's kind of one of them, I don't know. I, I think, like, you know, say you have a big cup replay, you saw it, you saw it in a big game out there in a matter of days, and, and, and they managed to do it. They managed to print the programs. They managed to, to, to get people into cook dinners, whatever they need. You know, all 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 the yeah, all yeah. the logistics around it are sorted in a, in a short space of time. And here we are playing in a tiny. I mean, I've been to Barla when we played there last time, and it's like it's just it's a, it's like a little town, and, and the ground obviously isn't very big, and it's. It, it's a strange choice for a European final for me. You know, all the st- of all the stadiums in Europe, why have you picked that? I don't know, it's a bit of a strange one. Um, moving on from that, I mean, I'm sure there'll be plenty more debate around Indeed. that across, across our shows. Um, Klopp's done a press conference today, um, which apparently was quite brief. Um, I think probably like most people, he, he basically can't be arsed with Watford. <laughs> I've got two spares, by the way, together up a centenary, nice seats next to me. It's like, if you, you know, want to watch Liverpool visit, if you want to watch Joe Allen and Christine Menteke. Neil said that they spoke to a Watford fan earlier and they can't be asked either. It's I'm just, trying to sell these tickets here, mate. Well, I'm just thinking, <laughs> can we just leave it? Can we just jib it? Have a pint each and swear it. Yeah. There's got to be something said for I'll go and have a pint or something. Um, <laughs> but See anyway. our wives. <laughs> Anyway, according to Klopp, um, both Jordan Henderson and Divica Rigi will probably have to feature by the last game of the season if they want to be in contention for the Europa League final. Goes without saying, really. Uh, he says Ings, because people have been asked about Ings, they've seen that he's training again. He said, nah, it's, um, it, it's going to be next season. Presumably season. Ings, I haven't checked, but presumably Ings isn't registered for the Europa League. They, they, they have to Europa change now. it for January, yeah. so I, I agree with him on that. There's no point rushing Danny Ings back, you know what I mean? Like, it'd be a nice moment for him if he can come on last game of the season or something but he's got plenty of other nice moments hopefully in the rest of his career so I don't see the, the need to rush things back but obviously if Origi and Henderson would be an asset for the final if we could get them fit even if it's just off the bench so hopefully fingers crossed yeah uh, and there's not much else to be honest um, but we wanted to say a few things about stuff we're doing here uh, we've now got um, a snapchat um, people kept telling us that we needed one, so we've got one. I've been trying to get my head around it, I still don't really get it, but there's some stuff on there of us being fools and stuff, so... Uh, kind if, of turning about in the office before. Yeah, if that's your bag, uh, get on it and all that, and, and have a look and, and communicate with us on it, because no one like likes your stuff, what's going on? <laughs> um, <laughs> and what else, what else is the today? Snapchat's just the Anfield rap, so you can yeah, search for us on there. Rap, it's just the Anfield rap. Uh, today, as I say, the Friday show is out any minute. It's basically waiting for me to write the blurb. <laughs> so sorry about that. But Friday show is really good. Uh, it's it's match reaction from Villarreal. Looking forward to Watford. Uh, speaking to a Watford fan and also speaking to a Middlesbrough and Brighton fan because that is, you say the Liverpool Watford games and nothing gay, but Brighton Middlesbrough tomorrow in the Championship is just, uh, just absolutely huge. Winner takes it all game. So we're speaking to uh, a guy from Albion Raw, uh, fanzine and a Middlesbrough fan as well well so that's really really good and then we're recording wild cards today we've probably got about an hour left when this comes out maybe not even that maybe about half an hour after this comes out to get your votes in for wild cards what you want us to talk about and it's afq of course the six how we always finish the week and afq will be out straight after um quick recorder yeah and that's about it uh, have a boss weekend uh, see you at the Watford game if you're going and that uh, keep an eye on all the stuff we're doing instagram youtube facebook snapchat the website podcasts and that. See you later. Hope to that.